I think we've all had dreams of complete three-dimensional freedom. I remember as a young boy walking to, to school and sort of, you know, wondering if there would ever be an aircraft where you could just jump in and be able to take off vertically and fly wherever you wanted to. I did some calculations with the current technology and uh, realized at that point that electric VTOL was not only possible, but was practical. And uh, that was the eureka moment. I think our house became a factory. Uh, the basement was used for basically doing all the structures work. The kitchen were basically used for manufacturing motors. We used to bake the motors in the, uh, in the oven. Boy, would that stink. <laughs> I found myself at the end of our driveway. Uh, my friends and neighbors were behind a barrier of cars that we had set up. And I figured just like in skiing, I'll do a skidding turn in front of them. The uh, edge of the wing contacted the lawn. And I still recall sort of going, mm, this isn't going to end well. But uh, the propulsion systems reacted so fast that after landing at that point, I realized how incredible this technology was. It is a personal aerial vehicle. It's not designed for multiple people. I mean, it's designed for one individual to give them the freedom to basically go where they want to go. The nice thing about uh, our vehicle is uh, both the United States and Canada. It is classified as an ultralight aircraft. In Canada, you require an ultralight license, which is um, relatively easy and straightforward to, to obtain. In the United States, which is our primary market, um, we have uh, very serious weight restrictions. So the American uh, vehicles have a, a 20 plus mile range for an operator that's uh, 200 pounds. In the United States, we're restricted to 62 miles an hour. In Canada, uh, we don't have those weight constraints and also we don't have speed constraints. It's unbelievable. I could not have conceived um, where we are today from where we were 10 years ago. Developing Blackfly doesn't just happen uh, in one swift moment. It's uh, an evolutionary process. And uh, to date, we have uh, built uh, and flown 40 aircraft. Every single aircraft has been an improvement on the predecessor. Still awesome. Christina showed me how to do that. I started the project because I want one. They're going to be going on sale in the very near future. and. I'm gonna get the first one off the line.